Wait, sorry, I need to burp. <laughs> oh. Welcome to another episode of Eat Brew Vlogs. I'm Rainer. And I'm Gerald. And today we're going to be exploring places that serve the most value for money steaks. Steak. I love steak. Let's go. Let's go. here in our first location and it is called Brasilio. Brasilio actually means right barbecue in French. A lot of the dishes and the main courses right have a specific barbecue theme. The good thing about this is right, at least for me, it comes with unlimited fries and salad. So you also like the salad? Maybe not the salad lah, like the carbo loading. You know? Okay, so what we're going to be trying today is the flame grilled ribeye steak and also the beef skewers. Let's get beefy with it. The only thing that is cheesier than that line is the fries. Okay, right now. Please, you my guess. Oh, okay, sure, thanks. <laughs> then you cut one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Actually, I'm pretty curious. What kind of doneness do you like for your steaks? I love medium rare. Like a deep pink in the middle. I think that's the most tender. Though. I feel like medium rare is a little bit too wet. You know, like too much blood. <laughs> I can say they cook the beef really well. Like, I think we asked for medium rare and it's perfect. Like, it's like the crust and then you got the very minimal well doneness. Medium rare, like all the way in between. I really like they season it very minimally. And the salt, pepper, the beef is the start of the show. So what they've done here is just really presented it well, cooked it well and like beef is beef. You can really taste the char grilled outer part. Mm. And then there's the very meaty, very soft, tender insides, which is great. Actually, I noticed, right, there's this like big chunk of fat in the middle. Uh -huh, you, are you a fan of that? I've also noticed that there's a big chunk of fat. <laughs> <laughs> If I were to compare this to like uh, other steak places in the same price point, right? Mm. I would say in layman's terms, this is a pretty good steak. There is more texture to the steak and you get what you ask for in terms of doneness. Like there are other places where I ask for a medium and they give me a well done. I don't know how, how, like how. Okay, so right now we're gonna try the beef skewers and it is the rib eye. Mm. <laughs> Mm. I like it it's a little bit different. I think because it's cooked with like the other veggies, there's this very different taste to it. Like very green. <laughs> mm. Mm. No, I just ate the onion. Wow, it's so nice. It just adds a different layer. Like. It doesn't feel like you're eating a steak. Complements the beef very, very nicely. After the main course, we're gonna try the fries. So we have the normal fries over here, homemade fries, and we got the nacho cheese version. And it's like $3 extra per basket. Wanna try? Yes. Mm, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say right that I really like this type of fries because they have the skin on it. So mm. it's like halfway between a potato skin and a fry. You can really feel the texture of the skin, which I'm really like a fan of. They just taste like way better than frozen yes, fries. Yes, yes. Let's try the cheese version. <laughs> oh, two different kinds of people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the whole experience of using your hands so that you eat right, then you can like finger licking good. And then you put back inside. Mm -hmm. Why is so simple? It will be slightly illegal, but I want to bring this to the cinema. So the nacho cheese, right, is your typical nacho cheese that you would get anywhere else, but together, one. So are you combination? Beautiful, yes. Okay, so now we're going to try the salad. <laughs> it's too green. <laughs> the one. Okay, so the dressing is a uh, vinaigrette type dressing. <laughs> so it's a uh, black vinegar mm. with mustard and sunflower oil. Very nice eh? because it's vinegar so it's slightly like sour. So like having this just like being between every mouth prevents you from being like too jelak. Right? Okay so we're done eating the steaks and the other side dishes like the, the fries and the other thing. I really like this place actually. I think it would be a place that you can go to with friends. For 1990, your, your choice of main, like the steak, the skewer, or like the mm. barbecue chicken, right? With the unlimited salad and fries, well, I think it's very value for money. Okay, so we're done here. I'm not full, definitely. So we're gonna go to the next place, Buffet. <laughs> okay, so now we are at Beach Road at the armory, we are facing this way because the wind is blowing from there and we, our hairs cannot like tahan the wind. So, <laughs> back to the main camp! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this place offers a weekend buffet that costs $30 net. I'm actually quite excited because just now we had free flow fries and salad. This time we have free flow everything, right? That's how buffets work. We have the rib eye over here as well as the strip line. 
So other than the steak, they also have like a mountain of dishes uh, that are free flow as well. From like fried chicken to like uh, spam fries, nachos, hot dogs, and then ribs. It's crazy, I think, the variety that it provides. But we're here for the steak, so we're just gonna move this aside. Okay, so let's start with the steak loin. Alright. Because this one, they cook it like medium, medium, right? So it's gonna be a bit tougher. Yep. But I really like the amount of like salt and pepper that, that they use. It's quite flavorful, eh? even though it's like medium well. Well, I really add a bit of fat. It is so delicious. I kind of feel like this is a bit subpar to me. There's no like char on top. It seems very one dimensional. But I think what some people can appreciate definitely is if you feel the steak is too raw, this place should be very happy because they have a quite solid like medium yep. to medium well. Like they cook it quite evenly as well. You won't like have a surprise like bloody mess you know in the video. Ba 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 rip eye. <laughs> Or oh, this one they cook like medium. So we just realized there's some inconsistency between the doneness of it all. Mine was like more medium mm -hmm. to medium well. This is medium rare-ish. I think that's one limitation of a buffet because like when you are cooking like a lot at one portion time, right? You cannot cater for like the slight variances in the thickness of the beef. Yes. So you will have inconsistencies in the temperature that is cooked at. La. I prefer the shrimp loin. Because like, the piece that I just cut don't have any fat. I prefer the shrimp loin as well. Because mine is just tough. I think the redeeming factor for the steak, right? Of course, buffet style steak. Very hard to compare to places that concentrate on steak alone. Mm. But definitely, the seasoning is not bad. So overall, right, right now, like with all the crazy variety in like side dishes plus like the never ending steak, mm. do you think this is value for money? Oi, <laughs> we're trying to force. <laughs> Please stop eating! I would definitely come back here, but not for the steak, for the other things. You know how much a rack of ribs costs, you mm. know how much all this random like liao costs. It's more than $30 there. Eh. Especially the, the amount of food I eat. Wow, mm. sure. The only thing I'm scared about this place right, is the queue on the weekends. Eh. Mm, I feel like cool. it'll be super packed. Just because of like how much value it gives you. <laughs> so the next place we're heading to is a place that we're both very excited to try. Yes, apparently it flew from London all the way here. So see you guys there. So now we're at the Feather Blade and we're actually very excited to try the two cut of steaks that they have here. The first one is actually called the Flat Iron or the Feather Blade. Yep. I've never tried this one before. I tried the Flat Iron one in London and I already can see that the standard already is like... We also have a picana cut. It's actually also known as like a sirloin cat or like a rump cat. Wait, so other than the steaks, they also have four different types of sides. You got your sauteed mushrooms, cream spinach, hand smashed potatoes, also Caesar salad. <laughs> Just stop playing though. Um, I'm walking. <laughs> Let's try the feather blade first. Ooh. You can immediately see that yep. the sear is a very thin layer, so like you get the maximum amount of medium rare. La. Yes. I feel like I'm in a beef spa. <laughs> This one right, is one level higher. The seasoning is still very simple, but the way mm. that it's cooked, it's really end to end really, like the amount of like medium weight that you get. I'm quite mind moved by this. The feather bit, right, it's not so common as a steak, but like the way that they prepare it, the way that they cook, is perfect, right? it's fantastic. Okay, so now I'm gonna be trying a Sichuan pepper sauce. Mine is the red wine sauce. It's very classic. Oh, it's quite hot. The pepper sauce actually. Like, Sichuan pepper, I, you know, you, you think of like the mala corn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like numbing. Because the reason is just like a, it's a nice heat. I really like the red wine sauce just because it's very sweet and it's very tangy. There's a slight dryness in the back of your mouth as well, which you get from drinking red wine. Okay, so next one, we're gonna try the picana steak. Mmm. Solid. Fantastic. They obviously see the fat very well, right? So the fat is easy to choose. And the flavour like just explodes as well. I prefer this over the feather blade. Just cause like of the tenderness and then plus the addition of like the fat. It's so creamy eh, for some reason, then like mm. you can slurp out the fat. Okay, so obviously right, with a more premium cut, mm. it is more expensive la. Definitely. So but for this one, the price is $21. The feather blade also is not second base, it's very good as well. I want to try the other two sauces, the Bernays sauce and the horseradish cream. So like horseradish right? No, it's a quite similar effect to like Wasabi or like mustard. It's a different kind of heat from the pepper. I think it's a very classic sauce for your steak. Mm. The bernet sauce is very creamy and there's this like slight tanginess to it because of the lemon. I think it paired really well with the steak just because it's not overpowering. We were supposed to pick a different side dish but I cannot pick. I honestly like enjoy everyone. Like there's not one that I would single out as the best. The potato is very crispy and like they fry in beef fat. Yes. So there's a lot of flavour lah. Even like the way they do their cream spinach or the Caesar salad and the sauteed mushrooms are. But I will give it to the Caesar salad. I don't eat veggies but this no, that was nice. Okay, so we're done with tasting these beautiful steaks right here. I think the overall quality of all the dishes mm -hmm. are top notch. Eh? Nothing disappoints me in any way. At $29 for the Feather Blade steak, I think it's very worth the money. I really like the Feather Blade steak, but 
damn, the Picanha card, you know. It's like $36 and it's seasonal card. But I will choke in the calendar, right, when it will come out <laughs> just to get this. It's really freaking nice. Uh, I also think that the ambiance is pretty chill. It's very like British grunge mm. feels. If you are planning to come here, we've heard that like 5.30 around the time, there's already a queue. So either come during like the not so like peak hours or mm. make sure you come early. Lah. Okay, so we are done trying the three different sticks. Right now, which one is your favourite? It's gonna be definitely the feather blade stick. I had this expectation of what the stick would be and they matched it. For me, it would be the feather blade as well. Eh. The quality that you get for the money that you're paying, I think it's hard to find something that is that worth. The only gripe I have with feather blade was the sides were like $7 each and they were not very big. And comparing to like the other two places which are like more buffet style-ish mm. kind of thing, I really like Brazil just because the fries were so good and it's like free flow. If I was going for like a weekend outing with like me and the boys, mm. The Armory's like weekend steak buffet confirm worth. Thank you for watching this episode of ebook vlogs. If you want to watch more, you can click on the videos over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace out, mate.